Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 126. Thank you to anybody who has submitted the gameplay. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I re review it, I go over it. Do anything I can to help you improve. Twos, threes, RBGs, solo shuffle, Mythic Plus, raiding, Mistweaver, Windwalker. It doesn't matter. Any MMR, 1400, 2700, 2K. It doesn't matter. The best way, in my opinion, to improve at pretty much anything is to watch yourself and then watch it back. Uh, record yourself and then watch it back. And I, even if you're too shy to submit any gameplay, that's fine. I would still highly recommend recording your gameplay and watching it back. It is very, very good. Today, we have Dragon Crane, who says that... Uh, who says, sending in a, a, re a replay for you. Been watching your stuff since Shaolin's. And I love your content. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I've been playing Monk off and on since it released with it released in Mr. Pandaria. I have as well. Um, but never really dedicated the time slash consistent playing to really get good. You should take long breaks between expansions. That's the same case for a lot of people. Uh, the game attached is a 2v2 game with my partner playing Rhett Pally. That's awesome. I played some Mistweaver Rhett recently, so I can kind of give you some insight as well. Um, our opponents are BM Hunter and Mystery Monk. MMR is 1800, 1850 ish. That's perfect. That's actually a really good MMR to be at. My talents didn't get recorded using Warcraft Recorder and it records right when the gates open. Okay, so apologies for that. You don't have to apologize at all, but my talents can be seen on Dressfar. If you want my PP talents for this game or Disarm Zen, Spheres, and I think Eminence, which I think is fine i think yeah this game felt like a slog came close to getting killed a couple times but ultimately lost in deep damning 100 opponents with a healer give us a tough time you can constant kiting so any tips would be appreciated well first of all i 100 percent agree with you i have tried playing with the red pally i have fist weaved i have casted heal uh, they're both it, it's tough bm hunters are tough however with the mistweaver it is doable um mistweavers tend to struggle versus uh to heal bm hunters just because they don't have a lot of they don't have a lot of cooldowns to rotate with them so consistent pressure on the bm hunter is very very important and so we're going to see what we can do now i am noticing that we are playing ring of peace i assume song of chiji with the ret is really really good what you want your goes to look like is something like this you want a hodge on the uh, hodge on the dps you want to you want to incap the healer your red hodge is the dps and then you go for a leg sweep or song of chiji on the healer and you just consistently keep doing that over and over every dr and eventually get cooldowns that's pretty much it. you could also hodge the healer uh, you know the the worst thing your rep pally can do though and i'm only saying this because you said that that's your, this is your teammate so i'm kind of trying to help both of you out the worst thing that you can do is hodge the dps without the healer being in crowd control because then they just get the free dispel that's your only consistent stun you know that's less than a minute so just keep that in mind try to try to do that uh, we do get a port down we do get a statue up so we're already ahead of the game of course um, we're doing pretty good let me see we're doing pretty good pretty good um i would also start channeling soothing mist a little bit sooner just because you want to start building up stacks of common coalescence it's nitpicky it's small it's not a big deal you're not going to lose because of it but just let you know that is bm hunter burst right here great disarm Beautiful disarm on that beast shield wrath here. Now, what we're looking for right now, if we're going to start doing damage, it looks like we're kind of hitting the pet right now. But what we're looking for right now is a stun potentially on the hunter with an in-cap sweep or slash song of Chiji on the healer is what we're looking for. Great in-cap here. Looking for a sweep. Beautiful. Sweep off. Oh, we gapped it a little bit, but we still got the hunter human ratio. So that's really good. So this is still this is still fine. This is still fine. Now one one tool that you want to also utilize when you're playing with your rep pally is song of uh, is not song of GG Tiger's Lust. Tiger's Lust is very very important when you're playing with a rep pally because it gets them out of slow roots and it also is works really well with freedom. I don't see any freedom on your rep pally right now, but if your rep pally does freedom and you Tiger's Lust, they're just unstoppable. So keep that in mind as well. If you're able if you're using voice or trying to coordinate, you know, some way to get to the hunter. Uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, blinding light is beautiful. Blinding light is beautiful there. Um, really good. Doesn't DR. We got the cocoon from the Mistweaver, which is really good. Okay. So this is, this is, we're looking pretty solid right now. Rop, very good. So we're not playing Song of Chiji. We're keeping that in mind. It looks like your Rhett is hitting the pet, bouncing between the head, the pet and the hunter, uh, which is fine, which is fine. Now, one thing on your side defensively that you want to do is you always, if you, especially since you're playing Eminence, you always want to stay in range of your port. That way you can port the trap. That's pretty much, that's the only go that this team has. This team only has one go. It is Intimidation Stun into Trap, 
leg sweep into trap and your rep alley has sank for the stun so they don't have many ways many goes they, that's kind of just their one go so i don't know if this is bugged because of me but let me see let me full screen it again and hopefully let me see all right, I think we're back. All right, good. We do get kicked there. It's fine. It's the only range kick. So this is... Okay, so good. The Mistweaver isn't dispelling, but this is one of the few... This is the case where you really don't want to do is to only hodge the DPS when you don't have CC on the healer. If you don't have CC for the healer, I would just stun the healer and then just do damage to the DPS. But we're doing a pretty good job right now. Nice in-cap on the Mistweaver. Nice disarm on the Hunter as well. We got Trinket there from the Monk. or was, That was Trinket, right? Oh my god, okay, so we're getting cooldowns. That's that's the thing. We're getting cooldowns. Wait, what just happened? Yeah, they just overlapped the life cocoon and turtle. So yeah, they're, they're and revival there from the Mistweaver as well. So right now we we are very far ahead. Our mana's looking good. You know, we, our cooldowns are looking good. We have trinkets, like we're doing fine right now. Yulon, beautiful Yulon here, by the way. Hodge on the hunter again. You want to, you have in cap in three seconds. The, the issue right now is the monk is probably gonna be able to heal through it. See that full hodge, it's a full hodge. You had the hunter down to like half, maybe 50, less than 50, maybe 45% health. And then we get the Hodge, right? Right here. All your red has to do is wait four seconds. Just, you know, four, four seconds. I have in-cap, you have Hodge, and you just consistently keep doing that over and over again. That's the that's the thing about Mistweaver, playing against and playing with it, is um, if you don't CC the Mistweaver, you, they're going to be able to heal through it. And they're going to fall behind if you do consistently um, CC them. So try to do that. Try to keep them in mind. Because then we're going to go for an in-cap now, I feel like. Did we just in-cap? Yeah, we just in-cap now. And it's not going to do much it, because the hunter's going to be out of CC and they're going to be able to kite. So just try to uh, be be mindful of that. That's an intimidation stun as well. Looks like we're, they're going to try to silence you. Maybe a sank from your rep pally here. <clears throat> no sank. A drink of that. Okay. Maybe not. I don't know where a trinket is. But we're doing a pretty good job. That's your rep pally wall. So that's pretty solid. Incap on use DR. So we're doing a pretty solid job here. Um, maybe potentially get a kick there. That's a beautiful kick on you. Any any ways you, oh DR DR Hodge is is a little rough right there. Yeah, that's a that's a rough one. We definitely don't want to uh DR stuns. Again, if anything, it, if there was only the Hodge available, just CC the healer, hit the hunter. Hunters have very little ways to survive, even when they're not in CC. They can kite, but if they're not kiting, you know, you just do damage and kill them. So, oh, ideally, that would have been a hodge on the on the healer, because then you could have gotten a blinding light off, and that'd be even more pressure, especially since there's no trink on the Mistweaver. But great in-cap here. Uh, Roar of Sacrifice on the Hunter. We still have a good amount of cooldown, so that's really good. Diffuse Magic from the Mistweaver as well. It doesn't really matter, um, but we're doing a really good job. There is Life Cocoon available there's also Revival coming back up. So they are getting the cooldowns back, which is just the nature of twos. I would say overall, though, that you guys are ahead right now. This is Beastia Wrath. Another, another great summon, these Beastia Wraths are doing a fantastic job of just stopping the damage there. There is also Life Cocoon from us on the Rep Pally. I maybe didn't have to press Life Cocoon there. I don't see what the danger was because we, we disarmed the Hunter, which is a really good disarm. Um, also, make sure you're keeping your Zen Spheres up on your teammates. I don't know if I see Zen Spheres going out. And then even more importantly, make sure you're keeping Zen Spheres up on the enemy team. Both both of those are very, very important, especially since respect into it. It looks like we are playing, we are using it. Uh, it is used on the Hunter, so that's a great job. Uh, but make sure you keep it on your teammate as well. Um, I don't think there was a need to press Life Cocoon, just because... You, we had a really good disarm on the hunter. Even though he trinkets, I think it's still fine. Intimidation Sun, great port. Um, I don't think he pressed trap there. That's feign death from the hunter. He didn't press trap, but I mean, it's still really good. Also, life cocoon was used on the hunter. So, I mean, I think overall we're doing a pretty solid job right now. Um, they're using their cooldowns. Monk has trinket back. Nice leg sweep on the hunter. It is DR though, I think. No? No. Okay, beautiful. Nope, full leg sweep here is perfect. Do, looking really, really good. Um, great leg sweep, hoping for something on the Mistweaver. We that's the that's the that's the issue right now. The issue is that we're getting beautiful crowd control, great stuns, great disarms. Your healing is perfect. Like your healing is doing fine. You're doing great healing, but it's the cross CC that we need. We need as soon when we get CC on the monk, we need to CC the the hunter as well at the same exact time. Bisho Wrath again, dude. The cooldown on Bisho Wrath is like thirty seconds. It's crazy. Um, right there, beautiful, right here, it, it, perfect. 
Um, the Hodge is DR though, but this is what I mean right here. We do get a Hodge on the on the Hunter. A little late, but in cap on the Mistweaver. Boom, right here. It's perfect. The Hunter has no trinket, so he's have to sit the Suns. The Mistweaver can't dispel it because he's CC'd. And look, the Hunter's actually taking damage. Hunter's kiting. Your Ret's doing a great job of staying in line of you. This is in cap on you, which DR is trap. So now we're not that scared of trap anymore from the Hunter, which is great. And we're just trying to heal as much as we can, which I love. So we got our Hots going out. Envelope Mist there is beautiful. Our mana's looking pretty good. I think we're ahead on the Mistweaver on mana. And the issue right now is Dampening is getting a little bit deeper. And they have the Moral Strike and we don't. That's really what it comes down to. Disarm on your Repeller there. Great in cap here. Looking for something on the Hunter. Great stunt. Beautiful. Great job here. Look at that. Instantly human racial. Instant human racial on that like sweep because we've got the cross CC there. Beautiful work. Um... No, that's great. Great work there. Uh, in cap on you again. The in caps on you really aren't that great because it DRs trap. So if they use scatter to trap you, it just DRs um, the the trap even more. Great disarm on that beast your wrath. That was revival from the Mistweaver and Life Cocoon. So they're just using cooldowns like a lot right now. Um, great use of Tyra's Lust as well. Roar of Sacrifice on the Hunter. Monk is looking for a drink here. He's getting a pretty big drink. This this is a pretty big drink right now. Um, great blind, blinding light by the way from your ramp alley. Um, life cocoon, but yeah, it looks like we kind of forget the Mistweaver is part is in the game. <laughs> yeah, the Mistweaver is all the way over here right now, and just getting a really big drink. This is a this is kind of unfortunate because it's one of your win conditions. Hopefully, we can get an in cap here. Good in cap, maybe a rop, potentially a rop to make the Mistweaver go farther away. Great damage coming out from your rep alley here. Turtle from the Hunter. Beautiful. Great. Great. That that was worth it. That was good. Good. Uh, the the Monk does have more mana than you, but I don't think this... I don't think mana is going to be that much of an issue. The Trap's DR because they incapped, so it's not a big deal. Uh, they have Life Cocoon in 36, so we're probably not going to get a kill anytime soon, but that's okay. Like, like Sweep on the Monk. That was also 4 proof from the Monk, so there is a chance potentially... They, they do have a second port. There's a second port from the Monk, but now, I mean, you could kill the Mistweaver technically if we have a stun on him. Could definitely kill him. Big healing. Big damage. Great. Hunter's kind of kiting the Mistweaver a little bit. Or uh, lining the Mistweaver. So there's a... Beautiful. Beautiful. Great Hodge. Great in cap. The, your Rep Pally did get trapped though. So let's try to get a dis, uh, Dispel on the Rep Pally ASAP. Um, as, that way we can get pressure. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. The Hunter has no Trinket. You can get a full Hodge on the Hunter. In cap on the Mistweaver so that there's no Dispels. Hopefully we can dis... Oh, great. Okay, good. And then there we go. Perfect. That is disengaged from the hunter. Rep Pally is just kind of chilling. I think wants to hit the pet a little bit. And this is kind of the part of twos that just gets kind of brutal. Yeah. Dampening is hitting, hitting kind of hard. 63% dampening. Plus you have to deal with the mortar strike uh, from the hunter. So it's kind of rough. In cap on you is really annoying. And I would... Let me see. Actually, let me see how this goes. Trap on use DR, of course. That's good. Just got to keep healing now. Mana, again, mana really isn't that bad. This is Yulon from you as well. Great in cap on the Mistweaver. Hopefully we can get out that. Nice Hunter. Your nice double leg sweep here from you. Okay. This is good. This is really good. This is good pressure. Life Cocoon again from the Monk. Um, I would instantly maybe just... That's also Revival from the Monk. There is. I think there's a chance you can kill the Mistweaver. I, I, I really think there's a chance. Um, maybe you send your in caps and your... Just your in caps on the Hunter. Sank from... What was that? A trap? Is that trinket or sank? I can't tell. All right, all right. This is fine, I guess. This is fine. Scatter on you. That DRs with in cap, so it's beautiful. The trap on you is useless. It doesn't really matter. In cap on you. Okay. Thunder focus T. Make sure you keep Zen spheres on your teammate as well. Good, good, great. I see that. Great. Kick on you is okay. We have Disarm coming back up. Hunter just used Trinket, so yeah, Disarm could be good. Great. Good Disarm here. Might have to be a bubble from your Rep Alley, I feel like. Nice Life Cocoon from you. Good. No Everlaps, which is great. Trap on you is full. The Life Cocoon should be enough to keep your Rep alive, so that should be fine. Good. Yeah, and now it's just... It's just a matter of uptime right now. You gotta... Your Rep Alley needs to bop aggressively. And just stay alive. In cap here is beautiful. Looking for a leg sweeper Hodge. Nice trinket from the miss from you. Not not nice in cap from you to get trinket from the Miss Weaver. Roots on you. Yep. Good. Good leg sweep here. Beautiful. Uh too bad he couldn't get the leg sweep on the Miss Weaver, which is a little unfortunate, but 
Uh, that's okay. Again, the monk's running out of mana, so we're just looking to stay alive right now. That's life cocoon. You see the life cocoon's getting weaker as it goes. Um, statue is out of line, so you probably won't get much healing from it. So try to keep that in mind. Disarm on the hunter is good. The reason why disarm on the hunter is good is because they can't kick you. So I would recommend if they don't, if they do have kick available, which I think they do. Uh, this is a great disarm, just because the monk's trying to drink right now. I don't think it matters at this point. I think what you want is to nice. You want to trap is to heal. Yep, just heal. Um, hodge the healer if you can. Nice in If we get a hodge on the hunter, it's over. Just any Hodge. Oh, dang. I don't... I. It's hard to track Hodge. It's really annoying. Um, hopefully, we bubble soon. Nice bubble. Nice. Sweep on you. They might have Trap off. Port. Oh, that's okay. That's Turtle. That's fine. That's that's fine. We have Life Cocoon. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. This is getting intense now. The, the game has started nine minutes in. <laughs> Leg Sweep on the Mist Fever is great. Great. That's Human from the Hunter. By the way, this is beautiful. Right here. This is exactly what I'm talking about from the start. Right here. Right here here right here beautiful stun on the hunter no trinket stun on the mistweaver no trinket no dispel from the mistweaver on the hunter so he has to sit the full hodge this is exactly what i'm talking about this is beautiful try to do this every time hodge on the dps in cap the healer hodge on the dps in cap the healer you have sweep for the healer sweep him off i would also recommend playing song of chiji as well blinding light is beautiful great it's gonna break on the hunter just because you're hitting the hunter great ink great uh heal don't forget to heal do not, because if you fall behind, it's a little trouble. Could kick the Mistweaver here as well. So there's a chance right here. There's a chance right here. What I would have done right now, beautiful disarm on the Hunter. Uh, scatter on the Rep Pally to peel for What I would have done right here, first of all, prioritize healing. Great in cap on the Mistweaver. Prioritize healing your Rep Pally. Get this Envelope Mist. Get the Zen Sphere and the Envelope Mist off on your Rep Pally. And then you can kick this Mistweaver. I would I would stand close to this Mistweaver. Boom. Boom. Kick him right here. Please kick him. Kick him. Oh. Yeah, prioritize obviously keeping Rep Pally alive, but then also keep in mind to kick this Mistweaver. Because if you kick this Mistweaver into like a Hodge or something, I'm pretty sure you can win. Um, we're doing a great job though. Uh, having a lot of uptime on the BM Hunter is really good. Um, we do have Trinket available. Oh, there's Trinket. I'm, I haven't been able to see it this whole game. That's crazy. Big healing. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. So, one thing I would note. Um, one thing, uh, try to, your rep pally can use bop. It's versus this comp right here. Your rep pally can definitely bop a little bit more. I don't think we used bop once this whole game. I don't think we used it once this whole game. Like, don't be afraid to bop. Because in twos, in, yeah, I don't think we used bop once. In, in twos, it, you're not going to die, right? Like, you're not going to die early in the game if you're rotating your cooldowns. So, send the bop. You know, get that cooldown rolling. Because we didn't use bop once. Do we have bop at the end here? We did a bop at the end here. Right? Because uh, forbearance. Yeah. Wait. Forbearance from bubble. But we should have bop back. Yeah. We have bop right here. This is this is the time right here to send the bop. Because the hunter has one purge. You have hots. There's a really unlikely chance that they get the purge the first try. And then... They can't do any damage. So then the hunter is like, what do I do? And then they maybe try to swap your damage to you. And it's just a waste of time because you could heal through it. Um, so overall, yeah, I try to use Bob just sooner, really. I think we use Lay on Hands, potentially. But Lay on... No, no, we do use Bob. No, we use Lay on Hands. Yeah, Lay on Hands is useless. It's it's 82% dampening. It's 82% dampening. Uh, lay on Hands isn't going to do nothing. Uh, Bob is much better cooldown than, than Lay on Hands. Um, especially versus the Mistweaver. Mistweaver has no purges and it's all physical damage. Um, Todd is physical. All the Hunter damage is physical. So keep that in mind. Uh, Bop is always a great cooldown to use. Get that cooldown rolling. Um, could be one of the first cooldowns that your Rep Pally uses on himself. Uh, that way you don't need to use Life Cocoon. Your healing was fine. Uh, you used Yulon at great times. You know, you used Yulon right here at the end here. Um, just didn't have the Globals to really get the healing off. We also didn't have Life Cocoon yet, so that's a little unfortunate. Um... Overall, no, the yeah, healing was good. Uh, the one big recommendation I would say is to use Song of Chiji instead of Rain and Peace. I know it sounds, and maybe it depends on what you're comfortable with, which is perfectly fine. But I would, I would highly recommend playing Song of Chiji when playing with uh, Rep Pally. That's what I did. the The thing about Song of Chiji is it's good when you play with a DPS, especially in twos, that doesn't have enough damage to get a kill in like an in, in Capstone. So. 
rep Hallies. Uh, you know, they also don't have a fear DR. Actually, they have Blinding Light, which does fear DR, but it's on like a, a one minute cooldown. So every go, they don't have it. However, Song of Chiji, you will have it every go. So what your setups will look like is a Hod uh, in cap on the healer, Hodge on the DPS, in cap, Song, sweep. That's what you do. And then obviously, the biggest thing is to have consistent go um, CC chains or cross CC. That way, there's no healing going out when you have the hunter stunned and there's no way to dispel the stun if if the healer's not in cc so yeah that is pretty much it uh, again i try to have better cross cc with incaps on the healer hodge on the dps follow it up with a leg sweep song on the healer if you're playing song try to use bops more from your rep pally just especially versus melee heavy melee damage melee or caster hunters only caster but hunters and melee and yeah, no, other than that, your healing was perfectly fine. Your cooldown usage was fine. Great work. I think you definitely deserve the win for sure. Just a little unfortunate because the hunter does have mortal strike and your red pally doesn't. So that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you have. And that's it for me. Hope you have a fantastic day. Hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone. Maybe we're running into the same issues. I'll see you later.